called Winley Lodge. So this was the last home built on Cherry Island before World War One. It was purchased by Fred and Nellie Frazier. They uh, built this home to be near their favorite golf course on Wellesley Island. When they owned it, they the Secretary of Standard Oil. from Spanish to English, meaning White House. This was once owned by Louise Mock, who's a Cuban sugar and tobacco plantation owner, but is now currently owned by the Amsterdam family, in which they also own the multi-million. Two of our big ships could pass side by side if they needed to, and unfortunately, they haven't been able to build on the island ever since, because it would be considered a distraction. Right here to our right, this will be Comfort Island, and the first home is called Comfort Lodge. This was built by Allison Clark, who is a paint manufacturer from Chicago, and he built this home as a comfort to his family after losing his youngest daughter at the age of 11 from diphtheria. You're actually going to see the only brown bear here in the region as well on the island, if you look at the weather vane. 
that sits around six feet tall is around 700 pounds. So let's see if they can see their sailors coming in from the sea. Now we're still sitting over here off to our left hand side, right past Point Vivian. See that big large rock with the gazebo, some Adirondack chairs. This is actually a shoal. Now this was claimed by a Point Vivian man and he claimed from 300 feet to 30 feet to 5 feet back to 150 within the matter of some. So if you really don't know the region very well, don't really have a GPS or a map, it's going to be very difficult to navigate through the river. Um, he, he took extensive interest in the river and he decided to start the Save the River campaign, which is our strict snow dumping policy. Uh, he was known as a local hero to all of us because he was dedicated to our river and he wanted to save it, get it back to our 95% pure. And he did just that. Now, the locals were quite shocked to figure out his real name wasn't very free, but it was actually. Visit Boat Castle, this is your opportunity. Please make sure you have all your belongings, your masks on. Make your way to the stern of the boat at this time to disembark.